This is the beginning of a challenge from Dell to create a series of images representing the past, powering the future. In other words, raise awareness for electronic waste. Electronic waste isn't really a topic that many people think about on a regular basis, so I wanted to find an interesting way to bring that topic to life. I had a huge warehouse to play with, filled to the brim with millions of tons of electronic waste collected from all over the country thanks to Dell's Global Recycling Program. All these electronics were all destined to be torn down so that they could go back into devices like this one. But shooting this alone just didn't seem like that much fun. So I came up with a new idea. This was going to be the master plan. I wanted to build a portal out of circuit boards, which contains a lot of gold. Since Dell's closed loop recycling program recycles gold, it made sense to highlight one of the computer's most valuable components. We started off by going to a hardware store, loading up on wood and paint to build the foundation for the structure before covering it in layers and layers of circuit boards. To figure out what we had to play with, we started by tossing out all of the circuit boards that we could find, organizing them by color and size before slowly screwing them in one by one. Green on the outside, red on the inside. We found this amazing builder called David Jeter who came up with a brilliant idea to use force perspective, which would help not only make our portal look like it was far longer, it would also require less work to build up. Awesome in theory, except that lining it up and making it work turned out to be a lot more complicated. With force perspective, the arches only had to look good from one single direction. So with a little bit of experimentation and last minute cutting action, we were finally able to line up all of the different pieces so that they looked just like a portal. That is, until one of them came crashing down. One day before the shoot, and our portal is now broken. All right guys, that's it for part one. Make sure you go on our website, check out a couple of the sneak peeks that we got up there, and more importantly, sign up for the updates so you don't miss out on part two.